ilangate anta chatagata gita bodasta bod gita mohita gita bodashita kast jannise rasi sangvidam ichayo daya prasita nana prem viksanam priyadurasya viksadamate murati spriya mujjate mana ब्रजवनौ कसा व्यक्ति रंगते ब्रिजिन हंतल विश मंगल तेज मनास्तान सजन ही रुजांग जन्नी सुदन जते सुजात चरण वरम स्नेशु विता सनय पद दिवे कर्कटेशु जिलट विमट सी तद्वैध तनी किंसित कृपा दिर कांचन गौरंगे राधे वृंदावनेश्वरे वृषभान सुत देवी प्रणमा में हरि प्रिय वृंदावनेश्वरे श्री माथे राधारानी की बाय द कॉजलेस मर्सी ऑफ आवर स्पिरिचुअल मास्टर द फाउंडर चार्य ऑफ इंटरनेशनल सोसाइटी श्री कृष्ण कांचन श्री रूपपाल आवर परिक्रम पार्टी दिस कार्तिक हैज कम टू द बैंक्स ऑफ राधाकुंड एंड and shamukund i have no any qualification for speaking about this uh, sacred place and uh, no realizations but i've been asked to give this interview um in the upandeshamrita shilupa goswami gives a hint about the transcendental nature of this pond this lake behind me which is the personal bathing place of shri mati radharani he says prema amrita he describes um this water as liquid love you could say liquid love and again it's very confidential this is the bathing tank of um the krishna's dearest devotee dearest gopi eternal consort anapaini she who never leaves the association of the lord so we've come here with the blade of grass between our teeth rolling in the dust of the sacred place begging for her mercy that we can serve uh, the divine couple radharani is in charge of devotional service because she has mahabhav mahabhav means the greatest purest love for lord krishna only three personalities have that love herself Uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Madhavendra Puri and um it's described in Upanishadamrita that even great saintly persons even devatas even our spiritual ancestors um they rarely if, if sometimes have ever can come to such a sacred place so how have we've come we've we've come on the invitation of Shri Prabhupada and we're doing here what we do in every sacred place in Vrindavan shravanam kirtanam vishnu smaranam specifically here at radhakund it's the most sacred place in the uh, three worlds one time one of my god sisters asked her pawpad 
1974, 1975, um, if they, meaning my God brothers and God sisters, could come here and open a preaching center and do Harinam around the sacred lakes every day and distribute books and distribute prasadam and preach and make devotees. And interestingly enough, unique occasion, Prabhupada said no. He said Radhakund is for bhajan. Like he said about Vrindavan in general, he said that Vrindavan is for inspiration. This is the playground of God. Even now the Lord's pastimes are going on. Uppakat, they're, they're going on at this very moment for those who have the eyes to see. Pimanjani Chirati Bhakti Vilochanena. When all the dirty things are gone from the heart and that love of God which rests as a seed in our heart is awoken by the chanting of the Maha Mantra and service to Guru and Garanga, then can, one can see those pastimes taking place even now. So these are the places of Radha and Krishna's most confidential pastimes. Actually, Radharani takes her bath here every day. Shyam takes his bath in Shamakund every day. They meet here at 12 o'clock every day. Purnamasi arranges that pastime. Krishna leaves the cowherd boys and the cows and he comes here to meet his most uh, beloved. It's such a sacred place. It's said that one who bathes in Radha Kund achieves the same love that Radha has for Sham Sundar. And one who bathes in Shamakund attains the same love that Shyam has for, for Srimati Radharani. So these are very deep subject matters. We come here, we don't uh, stay very long. All the most qualified, elevated devotees come here to refine their, um, the last steps in their pure devotional service. It's a process. We are um, progressing on the path of Krishna consciousness. We are works in progress. So we understand our position. Ado shraddha tata sadhu sangha ta bhajana kriya anartha nirviti syat. Prabhupada said that real uh, bhakti begins when one becomes freed from material desire, specifically from lust. Because lust means for me and love means for Krishna. So although we're just getting an inkling of that love, we're getting a drop of that love by the mercy of Sridhar Prabhupada and our acharyas, we're still allowed to come here. Prabhupada allowed us to bathe here. He didn't want us to bathe in a frivolous way. He wanted to bathe with great awe and reverence because at this stage of devotional service, that's how we're approaching the Lord. We dress our Radha Krishna deities like Lakshmi Narayan. That's stated by Prabhupada. We develop that mood of awe and reverence. And then through the process of Krishna consciousness, we become purified. But still, we're allowed to come here this place of the high, high, highest love and worship Radha and Krishna and we pray that we can get a drop of that prema and in our lifetimes become pure devotees of the Lord. In our ISKCON movement, this is, we often say this is a preaching movement. This was the, this was the mood of Mahaprabhu when he came, Radha Krishna came, Sri Krishna Chaitanya Radhe Krishna Nai Anga the one became two in the personalities of Radha and Krishna. Again, they became one in the personality of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He's the Yuga Avatar. Although he's experiencing the highest sentiments of love of God, he was an active preacher. And so were all the Acharyas who came after him, and so was our beloved Sridhar Prabhupada. A resident of Goloka Vrindavan, we're not, we're not supposed to speculate on his relationship. Radha and Krishna in the spiritual world. But when all these divine personalities were here on this earth planet, they were in the mood of preaching, delivering the fallen conditioned souls, sharing, especially Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, gave the special message that the topmost planet is Goloka Vrindavan, the topmost love is the love of the residents of Vrindavan for Krishna, especially the, the gopis. So we know these things. And we know who we are, we know where we're going, what it, we know what is the goal. But it's a, it's a preaching movement and we're meant to spend every ounce of our energy assisting Siddhar Prabhupada to establish in Krishna consciousness, not only here but in the, in the 14 worlds. At the same time, Prabhupada wanted his followers to become pure devotees of the Lord. He wanted that. We do that by a combination of our sadhana, our bhajan, and our preaching. 
So it is appropriate that we come here. Although this, these are the topmost pastimes still going on. Radharani's bathing tank, Shyam's bathing tank, their meeting place is Lalita's Kund. There's so many transcendental pastimes you can read about in Goswami literature. We, we're to come here for inspiration for preaching, but to come here for inspiration to become pure, unalloyed devotees of the Lord so that we can exemplify that wonderful verse in the Shikshastakam prayers. O Govinda, feeling your separation, I'm considering a moment to be like 12 years or more, and tears are flowing from my eyes like torrents of rain. Prabhupada wanted us to come to that stage because that is the qualification for going back home, back to Godhead. The ticket, the visa, is pure, unadulterated love for the Lord. So Prabhupada's happy when we're distributing books, he's happy when we're doing Harinam, he's happy when we're doing festivals, and he personally invited us to come to Vrindavan. In his purports in the 10th canto, he said he established the Krishna Balaram Mandir so his disciples in their old age could retire here and do their bhajan and become pure. So it is appropriate, although it's the highest of the highest of the highest, it's appropriate that the neophytes come here, roll in the dust, bathe in the kund. Rupa Goswami says, one should try to bathe in this kund as many times in his lifetime as possible and become purified, become inspired to preach and become pure devotees of the Lord. The perfection of Krishna consciousness is one day when we're chanting, tears of love will come to the eyes. I admit I'm quite far away from that, but I have faith in my spiritual master's words that one day by his grace I can attain that and all of us can live in the transcendental abode of Sri Vrindavan and serve the divine couple. We're very grateful to Sri Prabhupada for bringing us to these sacred waters and we will finish our uh, Purikama now, go back to Vrindavan and continue with our Kartik Purikama 2019. Vrindavan Eshwari Radharani Ki, Vadasham Ki, Sri Gauranga Mahaprabhu Ki, Sri Prabhupada Ki, J J C Radhe Sham Hare Krishna. Yeah.